back to my YouTube channel, everybody. Today, we are going to be doing a bookshelf tour. As you can see, my bookshelf is behind me. Um, I'm just gonna walk you through a couple different things with it. So I actually, my husband and I built this bookshelf to specifically fit in this space. I'll show you in a minute what the wall situation is and how it's set up, but um, yeah. I'm gonna walk through how I built our bookshelf, how it's organized, what kinds of books are my favorite books. I love watching book YouTube videos. So uh, Haley Pham is somebody that I love watching her book videos on and her at home library that she just built in their new house is really, really cool. So mine's not that cool, but <laughs> I am pretty happy with it and I love looking at it. It's one of my favorite parts of our house. We're just gonna jump right in and get into all things books. Well, okay, first off, I'm a big physical book person. Um, not that there's anything wrong with ebooks or audiobooks, but I definitely prefer having an actual book to hold. But recently I've started listening to some audiobooks more just so that I'm able to multitask. Most of my favorite books I've tried to collect physically. I love finding different covers and the artists that create that, that kind of stuff. And I would love to be able to make a book cover one day. I think that would be amazing. Before I go through the whole bookshelf tour and how my books are organized, I want to talk about how we built this shelf. So originally we had over here a little like ladder shelf um, that I had books on. And then as I started collecting more and more books, I was like, we're running out of room for all my <laughs> books. And Harrison had been pinning a lot of stuff on Pinterest of these like full length uh, TV stand bookshelf, essentially what you see going on right here. So all this was really birthed on Pinterest. And then I drew up kind of the design we wanted because on this wall, it was hard to find something pre-made that was not a million dollars, um, that would fit our wall the right way. So I was like, let's just build it ourselves. We have a few power tools and I've built a few things. So let's just build it. Guys, these are not professional plans. I just made these up with my brain <laughs> what i thought would work i watched a few youtube videos but ultimately i kind of just made it up i don't know it's one of my favorite parts of our house just knowing like we're the ones that built it and that it is doing what we wanted it to do let's start doing the tour of the shelves i'm gonna go just around to show you how it's organized okay let's start on the tippity top up here i have a sweet little painting quote that uh, my neighbor Melissa did. That fits perfectly along the length of the top of our shelf. This is my only open shelf left. So, got a picture of me and Harrison and just some little trinkets. This is actually a really fun Harry Potter uh, time turner. It's got the time turner on the front. It's got the clock. Down here, there's a fish tank. There's no fish in it right now. Sadly, our fish Draco passed away. Uh, very, very sad. All right, so the next shelf here is not in books yet. On this side right here, I have my Smallville collection, which if you haven't seen Smallville, you must. Over here is our CD collection. We have a vintage CD player in the back corner. So we've just been collecting from Goodwill. So I've got some of my favorites, some of Harrison's favorites, and then also just some like classical stuff. Okay, the shelf just beneath that is one of my favorite shelves. I mean, most of the shelves are my favorite shelf. <laughs> the whole thing's my favorite shelf, really. But this one has all of my DVDs. I am a fan of DVDs. The nice thing about DVDs is I don't have to rely on my Wi-Fi, which goes out sometimes. I don't have to worry about ads. Things get taken off Netflix all the time. So this is just great for the ones that I really want to have. So like, I don't know, I have a lot of different series. My Lord of the Rings Harry Potter series right here. Some different TV shows that I grew up watching. The Office and Batman. The classic Batman. This is it. If you've seen this, you know. This, when people ask me what my favorite movie of all time is, this is what I say. I'm not kidding. I like the Chance of Meatballs too. The second one, by far. By far the better one. Lots of kids movies, cartoons here, and then on the end, you know, gotta have Hunger Games. I kind of just get the ones that like are really nostalgic or save things for like when we have kids that I want them to be able to watch that I really enjoyed watching with my younger siblings growing up. All right, and that leads us to this long part here. So this whole section underneath the TV is our Christian literature section, I will say, except for this end 
piece right here. We'll get to there in a minute. Some different dictionaries that are helpful, theological books. Some of my favorites, C.S. Lewis is one of my favorite Christian authors. And so screw tape letters is a favorite. My friend Illy and I read these together, found them on Etsy actually. I have my Mere Christianity book displayed outwards right there because that's one of my favorite favorites. In the colored books, The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry, actually both of these two books right here are some of my favorites. So The Ruthless Elimination of Hurry by John Mark Comer and God of All Things by Andrew Wilson. These are both really, really great. A lot of these I haven't read, so like, let me just give an example. I have not read this, 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 this. Maybe it'd be easier to show which ones, which ones I have read. So I have read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So of all these books, I've only read eleven of these. So a lot of these are ones I just have seen other people recommend and or they've been given to us by family members that we just haven't gotten to yet, but they are on my list. I mentioned the back end here was not part of my Christian book collection. These are my kids' books that I've been collecting, ones that I loved, was obsessed with as a kid, that I'm saving for when we have kids. So, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, a major classic. The Little Prince, one of my all-time favorites. I read this as a freshman in high school for class, loved it. Now this one, Madeline is perfect. I got this at an antique store. I love when people write in books. So I actually, that brings me into something I wanted to talk about. A lot of these books I do get at the thrift store and that is because if I can, why wouldn't I? It's just a lot cheaper, but it's just kind of fun to search. You have to dig a lot more and be patient to wait for the right books to come in. Most of my books here are actually from the thrift store especially when we get down to like my fiction section. Either I had them growing up, got them gifted to me by family members, or I have recently found them at the thrift store. Majority of the next section that we're gonna go through the fiction stuff, I have found at mostly Goodwill. All of this, and then those two other shelves in the corner over there, those are all of my fiction books. I ran out of space to like put them all on one shelf because fiction's my favorite genre, but Let's go through these. This this is my favorite part because, like I said, fiction is the best. Starting all the way to the left, we have the Divergent series, the beginning of the Gardens of Gahul, which I loved as a kid, and then Harry Potter, which, as you can see, these do not match. <laughs> I got a set of this as a kid for my grandma, and through lending things out to people, I have since lost stuff. So these two are from Goodwill, one and two. This one is the UK edition that my friend got me when he went to London in high school. It is a beautiful cover. I love the UK covers. I tried to go when we were in London last fall and get some of the other ones, but the line to check out was literally so long that I couldn't do it. This is one of my longest standing paperbacks. I need to rebind it <laughs> because it's coming apart, but that just shows you how much I've read it. Hunger Games series, another fave, the selection series, and then right here, is like my Jane Austen, more like classical section. Pride and Prejudice. My mother-in-law gave me Pride and Prejudice and Zombies <laughs> and Dawn of the Dreadfuls. I haven't read either of them, but she said it was good. So one day I will. Emma, haven't read Jane Eyre or Anne of Green Gables, but they are on my list. So the Nancy Drew books might be the ones that I've had the longest. My grandpa gave me these when I was a very young kid. So I'm missing a couple. I don't have one or two um, and then a few others spread throughout. But I think after I finish what I'm currently reading, I might try to go back to a Nancy Drew mystery. All right, so this last part of this shelf just has my Michael Bay series and my Twilight series. I was gifted these by my grandma as they came out, which was really fun. The Twilight series, I got all these at Goodwill. They're always there, honestly. And then I have the Match series. I do not have the first book because I borrowed that one from the library, but I did find these two at Goodwill. Again, a lot of my books don't match. Thankfully, these all match, just all the same height, very satisfying. I'm not super particular about that. I think it kind of adds character because I know these have been thrifted, and so that's just a little bit more fun. And it's just continuing a couple series. I have not read this one yet. My friend Noah gave these to me. And I'm currently reading 
the Percy Jackson series in preparation for the show to come out. So this is what I'm on right now. I just finished the first one the other day. Just started Sea of Monsters last night. Now it starts getting kind of random. So I do have like To Kill a Mockingbird, Looking for Alaska, and then Milk and Honey. So this part starts getting, there's still some fiction, but also like Milk and Honey's poetry. This is like a photographer <laughs> challenge book. Um, this one actually, I don't know if, I don't know where I got this book. No, this one specifically I got on Etsy, but as a kid, I just like really, really love this book. I need to read it again because I don't remember everything that happens, but it's a girl. She goes off with her grandparents and then I think she's like looking back on her life and reflecting on different things. Very, very good. Okay, this is my last part of my bookshelf. Just starting on this side, I just found this whole, the whole complete series of Series of Unfortunate Events, which was a series that I liked growing up. And then we have my Sarah J Maas books. In my Court of Thorns and Roses, there's an artist that I follow on Instagram who has been designing images to go along with different chapters of the books. So she's really awesome. It's really cool to see different parts of the book illustrated in that way. And then over on this side are some Christian authors who have done some fantasy series. So this is called The Chronicles of Prydain. And I have the whole box set kind of King Arthur Knights of the Round Table vibe. And then we have The Chronicles of Narnia. And also this is an old box set that I got from my mom, which I think she might have had this when she was a kid. They're smaller copies, pretty small. Um, but the covers are really cool, very vintage and unique. And then lastly, we have some Lord of the Rings. This is the one I just finished. I got the big, it has all the books in it in one copy. So this one, I love the cover of, this is just the Fellowship of the Ring, but I still would like to find some cooler covers of the other two books. But this is what I most recently finished reading and loved it. I did like Lord of the Rings better than The Hobbit. The Hobbit was kind of a struggle, but now I'm feeling like maybe I should go back and read it considering how much I liked Lord of the Rings. Well, that is it. That is my book tour. And I just can't wait to get some more books to continue reading. Like I said, I'm reading through the Percy Jackson series right now to get ready for the show coming out in the fall. And it's just been really fun. I've been flying through them. I forgot how easy they were to read, but it's just fun to see how creative people are, how they come up with just some crazy stuff. I keep track of everything on Goodreads for things that I am wanting to read and also sharing what I am currently reading. And my goal for this year was to read 100 books. I'm quite behind schedule, so we'll see. I've really, no, 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 not 100. My actual goal is 52 books for the year. We'll see if I actually get to that. I won't be super disappointed if I don't because I'm realizing with life going on that sometimes reading a whole book every week is not, not realistic. Thankfully, I have a lot of friends who love reading, so it's a, just a fun connection point with them. And yeah, I just like to see what other people are reading. So friend me on Goodreads. And if you like the same kinds of books, as you can see, I have a lot of fantasy books down here, but that, that's definitely my sweet spot. Me and my sister like a lot of the same books, which is really sweet. I don't know if you guys have seen those really cool, like people will rebind their books or will paint the edges and I would love to do that. Um, I do think that will be a project that I will try to take on sometime in the future. Like I showed earlier, my some of my Harry Potter books, they're falling apart because I read them so much, but that would be a fun potential rebind project. Um, but also painting the edges I also think would be a really fun challenge. I just have to start with the right book to make sure I don't ruin the book that I really, really love. Yeah, I hope that maybe you got some ideas of some stuff to read or maybe you just like some of the same books that I loved growing up and it's just cozy. I don't know, books are just cozy and libraries are cozy and I can't wait for my library to grow. So thank you for coming along on the book tour and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.